Alright guys, welcome to Bestie's Podcast episode 2. I'm here with... Ragged! 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 777! And I'm Isabel Wallace! Isabel! Hey, hey, hey! I'm Ben, I'm on the snap. Benny Boo! Benny Boo. I'm just trying out... Yes. I'm just trying out um seven eight nine. Seven That means her cat seven, is gonna eight, eat you. Nine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll take the numbers for later. I'm I'm on the staff normally I'm not in front of the camera, but we're just gonna tra- test out something different with Besties because Besties is our external podcast. To give you guys a little context, we talk about things going on outside of the house on Besties. And then with viral we talk more about what's going inside the house. So. <laughs> 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 um, really quickly, shout out Deathwish Coffee for sponsoring the podcast. Go to deathwishcoffee.com to go. I poured some. It's so good. I poured some in my mug and I have it right here. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> <laughs> but you use the death cups. You use the death cups for sure. Yeah. For sure. God, no cap. Yep. With our curing. We miss you, Dylan. <laughs> so much, Dylan. You guys ready to, to hop in these topics? Oh, we're ready. We've been, we've been ready. We've been ready. I was you guys about this earlier, but um, Avril Lavigne, did you guys listen to her music like way back when? Hey, hey, you, you. I don't, I don't like your girl. No, no way, no way. <laughs> I think you need a new one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please keep going with the comments. What's the next line? I don't line? like your girlfriend. I don't like your girlfriend. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, anyways, she came back. She made her debut on TikTok. Uh, have you guys seen the TikTok? Nope. Nope? Okay. I'm going to play it for you. I'm going to play it for you. I got you. I got you with the links. Hey, baby. Well, she's cute. Cutie. She didn't age. Mm-mm. Okay, Tony. It's Tony Hawk. It's Tony Hawk. <laughs> My dad's name. <laughs> Tony Hawk. Okay, she didn't age. I, there's also, I've heard so many rumors, like, you know, like, Scientology or whatever. Like, yeah. she's, like, a part of that. And, like, she's never going to die. And she's never going to die. Like, she uh, sold her soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Michael Jackson's still alive. Elvis Presley never died. I've, I've heard the rumor that she died. Like, the real Avril Ravine died. Yes. Maybe that's what I'm I with. have not heard that one. That's yeah. pretty fucking creepy. Um, There's this conspiracy that Avril Ravine had a like a stunt double and Avril Lavigne was super depressed and ended up like killing herself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just burp directly into the microphone. <laughs> Damn. I <laughs> know. The ABCs. That's crazy though. Yeah, that's ABCs wild. A starting with Avril Lavigne. Tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> no, she uh, like apparently died. And like that her death was covered up. Scary as fuck. That's so scary. I'm scared of that amount of fame. We're just like yeah. something could happen to you. No one would know. Right. You know? Like the FBI is out to get you. Mm-hmm. Well, I was wondering too. Like, you know, celebrities have consistently been coming back, coming to TikTok. And honestly, I feel like TikTok definitely favors a lot of their content. Oh yeah, oh, they like yeah. verify them right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not even fucking. I'm not verified. Yeah. Breaking some of them. So. I, like, I'd love to get the info. Perspective. Honestly, it's kind of funny. Like, know, it's kind of funny because like they don't really they're like all older, so like they don't really know how to work like, the app at Lopez, first. Yeah. We, who else? Like, is, is Britney Spears on TikTok? Yeah. Oh, uh, is she on TikTok? <laughs> is Britney Spears on TikTok? <laughs> like, they don't know how to do like the camera angles, and they like do it from like really high like, up. up here, and they're like, hey, hey, you, you. Or they'll put it on like a different speed, and they so they say the words really slow, so it comes out really fast mess but so, yeah, I, I think it's, it's entertainment I, I think it's funny it's funny also too it's just funny to have celebrities like i think all the time like what if fucking usher's seen my videos like he right? can know who i am and there are a lot of celebrities who like know who i am that i don't even know about yeah that are like huge and i've listened to their music since i was a baby and it's like that's a weird i look at it in that aspect of like damn I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> no, I was saying like... <laughs> Lost my train of thought. But it's weird. Do you have any celebrities that follow you guys that you're like, what? what? Or like anyone who's DM'd you? 
Russ. 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 Mm -hmm. And he follows me and he only follows like seven people. Yeah. No way. Isn't that insane? That is he might follow more people now. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Yeah. He followed my main account and I DM'd him and I was like, I love you. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. He follows a lot more people now. He follows 41 people. But if you scroll down on his account, you can see I am one of the first ones. But yeah, oh. and then um, Kyle, like, uh, see, I was one, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh person. That's followed, crazy because you're ranking seven, seven, seven. Yeah, seven's my number. So I was like, yeah, I DM'd him though. And then um, Kyle, like, I spy with my little eye. Wait, Kyle? Kyle, yeah, he sent me like his merch. He's a, he's a, he's a homie. <laughs> I know him. No, he is cool though. That's so cool. Anyway, what's about you, Isabel? Do you have anybody? <laughs> nope. I'm Kat. just showing who. Hey, Swade and them. Swade doesn't follow oh, me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Swade doesn't follow me. She knows who you are. Though. She knows who I am. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Oh, Emma Chamberlain's liked one of my videos before. I like did like um a photo shoot in a thrift store by myself and like put like a. You know, like, you, like, post, like, a, a collab of, like, all the photos that you took from that day. I did, like, all the thrift store pictures that I took. And I had, like, this, like, makeup on and everything. And it was just, like, really cool. And it was, like, the pictures I took today. And she liked the video. So I think that was cool. But, like, I didn't get a follow. Yeah, no, it's, hey. A like is so cool. Because, like, it, it's kind of just, like, proof that, like, anybody can see your video. Yeah. <clears throat> it proves that TikTok's crazy as fuck. Also, like, no one who's blown up on TikTok expected to blow up. Exactly. It's because of TikTok. Like, yeah. if we didn't do TikTok, we wouldn't be here. Like, we just started posting videos. Like, I, you started posting videos of you talking. Mm -hmm. I started posting videos of me talking, and it just, like, blew up. So, like, just from, like, being ourselves. Yeah. Because I did start off, like, I didn't start off with transitions. Yeah. I started off with, sorry, I know we're not supposed to talk about ourselves. No, that's fine. Keep going. But I didn't start off on transitions. I started off with comedy videos, actually. From Buffalo Wild Wings. Stand up. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Yeah, literally. Stand up. <laughs> Mine was um I had like a couple that would get like a couple like hundred thousand but like my first like viral I guess it got like four million views in like twelve hours and it was like me like talking about like why my name is spelled with a Y and like because my mom is a crackhead and like all that stuff so <laughs> that's how so so that was just me talking and screaming damn yeah. What was my for? I think it was me eating alone in my car during lunch. In oh, high and, then li and then in the library. And in the library. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure it was my first like actual good video and like video I put effort into because I had an off period and I was like, oh, what can I film? And I filmed a video of me in my backpack and then I like, mm -hmm. was like, okay, like I actually have to leave to go to school. I'm a little bit late and I got there and yeah, I was eating lunch. Did you have a car. little bit of a following when you started doing transitions? 50K. At 50K. Oh, lit. Yeah. I nice. thought I was so fuck. It's so funny though, because I thought I had like I thought I was so famous when I had fifty k in high school. Me, I did like a celebratory like fireworks show for like eight thousand followers. So <laughs> bad. <laughs> I literally thought I'm I was so dead funny. ass. And I'm now I like I I'm like no one knows me. I get so surprised when people like say they know me or like have seen me. It's insane. But back then, like if someone said they knew me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> and then like you get more followers, and you're like, oh shit, like that doesn't really matter as much as like when you actually start growing it like a passion because i didn't have a passion for making well i did but i i wasn't um it acting was, on that passion it was more like storytelling yeah like they weren't like tra they weren't even like transition videos they were like exactly you'd use like so many props and like just like you could tell exactly how you were feeling by like the sound that you used or like mm -hmm. the props that you used and what i did like the billy eilish ones, the like, that one that was like i was yeah. depressed as fuck when yeah. I was making those and everyone was like, this is so cool. Like, oh, this is so funny. Oh my God. Like, and you're like, I'm actually was, like dying inside. <laughs> I'm like talking about drowning. <laughs> yeah. The crowd. No, literally. No. That's cool. Like, <clears throat> any like video or anything, like you can kind of put your emotions into it and still make something entertaining for other people. Or yeah. Other people can relate to. I'm sure mm. some people saw that and they kind of like felt it. Yeah. They, and that's it, why it blew up. Yeah. And yeah. that's why it blew up. Yeah. I like my storytelling transitions for sure. Yeah. When I say I hate transitions, I'm talking about the like, oh, yeah, like that, like <laughs> type videos. <laughs> Just fucking like break dancing. But um, <laughs> that wasn't funny at all. <laughs> but the transitions that I do like is the ones where I tell my story. Yeah. 
Tell your story. Yeah. Yeah, like deeper meaning. Yeah, and a lot of people like don't know about those. <laughs> what about you? What you? Like, what type of videos do you? Okay, wait. Actually, wait. Yeah, no. What type well, of you videos? guys can keep going. I mean, we have topics, but like at the end of the day, this is a podcast. Um, That'd be awesome. I like. I guess like the same thing. Like my video started out of me like in the car, like telling about like all like my childhood trauma, and I would like scream at the camera and like make humor out of shit that I went through, and like to them it's hysterical, but to me it's like this is my therapy session. Like I'm just like telling you like, you, like I'm the serious. shit. Like I'm dead ass, yeah. And so there's that, and I guess it just got to a point where it's like too much, and like I was just like wallowing in all of it, so I just stopped making them. And yeah. here and there I'll make like little mommy drug jokes but like because i like trash picking things yeah like i'll make this is the first time you made a trauma joke in front of me and i was like ah yeah yeah but (laughs) no like i was like (laughs) it's so funny are you okay do you need help (laughs) but i mean like i i'm glad that i did it because there's a lot of people that go through that shit and they need to hear it from somebody else to know that like you're not alone yeah so i'm glad but now it's more so like i'm happier so i'm trying to push out the happiness to let people know it does get better i think that's why so many people comment not like why so many people comment but like no i think that's like a big reason a lot of people comment on your happiness and stuff and like because it's noticeable for one and then for two people watching your videos back then and watching them now it's like different a different audience can relate to mm-hmm. where you're at now in terms of happiness versus yeah. a different audience relating to the sadness. Yeah. It's like, it's, I think it's nice to see for people to see firsthand, like how that can develop and how that yeah. changes. And I like, I try to tell people like, there's always gonna like, when you're like depressed, like you're always going to have like that sadness, but it's like how you weigh your happiness. Like I was sad and I was happy today, but my happiness won today. So like it's not a matter of fact that it's all it's gonna go away that it's it's probably always gonna be there. It's just how you let the happiness win that day. Yeah, and like not try to wallow in the sadness and you try to be better. Mm-hmm. That makes so much sense. I think a lot of my sadness comes from putting my happiness or like my happiness being in form of a person instead of myself. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I like look for happiness in someone else, I think that's where you fuck up. Instead yeah of, instead you of finding it on your own you can't love other people or be happy with other people if you're not happy with yourself exactly exactly sorry i know we're supposed to be no. on your topics no dude like this is way better like obviously as much as like Besties. <laughs> as much as we talk about the external stuff <laughs> <laughs> as much as we want to talk about the external stuff like it's still stage like yeah we start off with these topics but go wherever you mm-hmm. guys want to yeah. um but if you want we can move on to the next one Yes. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. So, um, all, both of you guys were there for when we watched the TikTokers versus YouTubers fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was so good. So good. Yeah, well, like, talk about it more really quick. Um, Do you guys hear that they're doing another one? For girls. For girls? Right? Oh, I oh, didn't wait, even see that. Maybe not girls. Maybe no, not no, girls. No, no, I think no. that's a rumor. That, that's a rumor. They want that. Yeah. Uh, They're doing the, uh, like, a, like, a new lineup, and I can actually show you, but it's... Oh, yeah. It's, what is the lineup? The rumor is, like, US versus UK, so... Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's um, interesting. Yeah, I know, right? Like TikTok and YouTubers? But is it TikTokers and YouTubers? Um, It's both. So it's like some of the people that were just against each other are on the same team now. So oh, let me... Oh, wow. I should have had my photos more prepared. Sorry. Enemies to... While he's looking friends. at the photos... So this is coming from Keemstar, but <clears throat> allegedly the grouping is... Uh, Oh, who that is Landon he was on Vine I'm pretty sure oh really yeah okay um DDG versus mm-hmm. Jarvis who were both in oh damn I think they were on the same team actually yeah, they were they mm-hmm. were for YouTubers Bryce versus Deji Ooh, Bryce like Hall the guy, like the guy that yeah Vinny verse Ooh, yes. let's talk about that really quick okay um one I just want to say Vinny Hacker you are one hell of a man yeah one hell of a man you are not a boy you are yeah. a man. No. It just goes to show when you stay humble and you just like preserve yourself, then like you're gonna succeed because you're yeah. not trying to be something or like live up to expectations. You're just exactly. giving it all you got. Yeah, and giving like giving all you know. And yeah. if like all you know is kindness, then like like even like uh, how do you say his name? Deji. Mm-hmm. 
whenever he like he was so it was like heartbreaking because he was so sad and he just kept saying like I'm a failure like I let y'all down I'm a failure and Vinny walked up to him right after they boxed and he was like you're not and he was like you just didn't train and like that's okay but you're not a failure it's like even that it's like it was just nice to watch um because it's hard nowadays to see men lift up other men instead of like putting them down same thing with girls too but it's really hard to like see that and see emotion from guys because a lot of guys are scared due to all these social media standards of like, like you have to be perfect you have to yeah you know especially both of them because it's a social media battle it's like both of them being on social media and like haven't shown that vulnerable side yet and they yeah. both were being vulnerable. especially since like Vinny's like he doesn't post a lot of like talking videos it's like thirst traps like, thirst traps so, like nobody yeah. really knows how he is as a person yeah. so i think that was like a really good way to be like I'm not a bad guy. I'm exactly. actually really humble. I'm a really nice person without even having to say, like, say he the showed words. it to us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, actions, not words. It was really nice, though. Because I've met him once, and, like, he was so sweet. And I always tell people, like, he was so sweet and, like, humble. And, I mean, we were doing TikTok dances, but, mm-hmm. like, <laughs> but he was. Like, he was he was just genuine. And everyone was like, nah, like, Vinny Hacker, Thirst Trap King. No. And I was like, Thirst I promise. King. <laughs> Something about the way you never did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the way he did this, <laughs> like just really fucking. St- or the yeah. whoa, his little yeah. fruit ninja whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, he's awesome though. Yeah, it was cool the way like everybody else was talking shit in those little like pregame. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's annoying. He literally just sat there. People took that as in he didn't care, but really he just didn't have any shit talk to say. Yeah, you know, because I feel like where Bryce like fucked up is like by saying like i'm gonna take you down i'm gonna crush you and just be like that it's like you have to live up to that and that's why it's so embarrassing if you lose and so hard too yeah like like harder than on your heart but in like Vinny just sat back we just sat back and observed and he Mm -hmm. sat there and in his head he's probably like i'm gonna do what what i know i'm gonna go for i'm gonna give him my all and that's what he did and that's why he won yeah i think that's a good example too of like being preserved rather than like telling people your next moves and like how that can work in your favor of like if you like do things silently and you actually put work in versus like just talking up a storm you know yeah especially on social media because I feel like I feel like personally I always have to tell people my every move because I put so much on the internet I know you do too and you don't and I think like it's just nice to be able to hold things back because like obviously our followers know us really well but they also don't know us at all at the same time yeah it's an illusion no i'm just kidding it's not like that but yeah it's like we let y'all see like what we want y'all to see yeah but there's private conversations and friendships and yeah like all the like drama that happened in the house like there's so much that like we talked about in private and you guys are still giving your opinions and we were just all all they're like how could they possibly be cool with her yeah because like for when we live together. So yeah, we're all It's got to be a little easy. Yeah. But and, and like, we talked it in private. So it's mm-hmm. like, we all know that like, we all talked about the comments. So we're like, to each other, like, just not, e- like, we're not even going to read them. Like, yeah. the videos that have been coming out, we're all just like, we're not even going to read them. Yeah, exactly. People are like, you don't care. Like, all this stuff. And like, they don't see like, me trying and it's like, in nah. the house. Yeah, like, that's one thing. Like, Reagan is trying and it's like, so notice noticeable like in a good way that it's like natural yeah it's not like you're trying to be something you're not it's like you're just trying trying and it's you're growing yeah and it's really good to see love you best friend love you bethy bethy's podcast (laughs) Ah! (laughs) we (laughs) (laughs) um, it's a good thing you guys like Vinny because he's actually on this card as well Oh, okay. really? Yeah, so uh, last one was Bryce versus Deji. Um, Vinny versus Gib, who's <gasps> the guy that fought no. Taylor. Yeah. Gib has really good, like, um, stamina, like, endurance. Like, we thought he was going to get so tired out because he was just, like, yeah. the whole time. Well, I do think a big part of Deji losing was because no endurance. he wasn't, yeah, and he wasn't, he didn't train. He didn't, yeah. like, he didn't get himself in shape. Yeah. Gib is in shape. Yeah, so, so honestly, it might just be a really good fight. But keep in mind, like, Vinny has trained and if he if that's true and he is on that then like 
he gets to like like he's like not starting from nothing like he was this last round he's starting right from like he's fought before now yeah. and like he's seen gib fight too like in it's person. like experience like it's yeah. not like he's just getting in there against this guy that he saw win it yeah, was like exactly you both well they both won their fights yeah and now they're gonna get in there and verse each other yeah and Vinny is tall like he's taller too so yeah. it's like that could play a big part in it in terms True. of reach and yeah, I I think that'd be super interesting to see. Oh, I think that'd be so. Because yeah, Deji didn't train, but Vinny did look good. Looked oh, really he good. looked so good. Yeah. The top card is uh, Austin versus KSI. So McBroom versus yeah. Ooh, oh, they're both YouTubers. McBroom versus yeah. who? Um, KSI. He's part of the Sidemen. Have you never heard of that's KSI? That's Deji's um brother, right? That's the one that Logan Paul like first fought. Yeah, that's uh, Deji's older brother. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still don't know. I used to watch him when I was a kid. <laughs> I still don't know the reason I know. Yes. Yeah, so not even really like a YouTubers versus TikTokers anymore. It's a social like, media like, fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Social media fight. But they were talking about um, doing a girls fight, which is a rumor, but also like it could happen if Triller wanted to put forth the funds to oh, make it happen. Oh, 100%. 110%. And they were saying How Triller like, has money, I have no idea. Yeah. But I could not tell you. Yeah. They've been around for forever though. I had I used to make videos on Triller. I was Triller famous. hate to say it. <laughs> was <laughs> but not famous i had one video blow up but <laughs> um damn i farted guys oh my God, <laughs> Reagan. Reagan. one oh thing about reagan is she'll literally be like i just farted guys like there's never a warning there's never, I never a know when it's warning. gonna come out because sometimes i laugh or be like oh, I, I thought it was gonna be thought it wasn't gonna smell so i didn't say anything and then it does reek and you have to get out of there it's like a bomb <laughs> i love that you could have just not said anything and we probably wouldn't have even noticed but you just made it's because my legs are open i was like that shit might spread <laughs> <laughs> like a wildfire <laughs> me want to sing megan the stallion <laughs> oh my gosh but, um they were talking about like it being nessa versus mads oh yeah because the whole Jaden and like josh Fetcher's drama mm -hmm. and then that would be so funny i know and then um who else Cynthia versus Ellie because of the drama, because of their drama, and then uh, Charlie versus Summer Rae, mm -hmm. not not Charlie Jordan, yeah. Charlie Jordan. Charlie Jordan versus Summer, that would be funny as well. Like yeah. I really think I feel that like if they, they did, were really well picked together. Yeah. Sab versus Valerie, yeah, exactly. It's like it's like all the girls like ex best friends, so yeah. it's like hilarious because it's like fuck, guys. yeah, <laughs> like y'all really like, and they're all like posting about it. They're like, I want to do it. Like they're like, on. I'll beat her ass. I'll take yeah. her. Literally, and we're like, oh, the person I think he wants God. to fight the most is like S J Blue. I oh. always see, but I no, I don't see her on like any of like the rosters that people are like putting together. Yeah, because it's like who would who would she fight? Who does she have beef with? We don't. I know. don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Some girl tried to, um, there was like this TikToker. Ooh, I don't even know if I should, she's not gonna, well, maybe she will watch this. She watches the videos. I'm not gonna bring it up, actually. She wants to fight me. Really? <laughs> yeah. She wants to fight you? Yeah, but she was on my live and she didn't think I saw the video and she was like, hey. And she was like, <gasps> oh, I remember this. Oh my yeah, God. She, yeah, she was on my live, like, like, she put like a few days ago and she was like hey and like giving me compliments and like talking to me and stuff and then went back and deleted the video saying she wanted to fight me but she's <laughs> like she's all like all of our sorry no, you're good, you're good. all of our fine. problems that i've had with her is because i don't text her enough what yeah and i'm like i'm so sorry but like like especially being on the show it's like i have to film certain hours a day then i have to film for my account like it's so home. draining yeah. like we need we need to like wake up earlier so that we can take like post naps so that we're like have energy at night and she told me that i um i want to be her and she is like the exact opposite persona as me so yeah. it's really funny she said i wanted to be her because i crimped my hair like i styled my hair some way that i guess she does i don't think i know what you're talking about i will show you okay um and she made it a big deal and like posted about it on TikTok and on Instagram and stuff. And then I messaged her and then I was like, I'm so sorry if you think that, but like me crimping my hair, I promise is not me like trying to copy you. It's yeah. just like, it's, I have, I got a hair waiver for a promo. <laughs> like I had to do it. Sorry, I was promo, just trying to get that Literally, I had to. And then um, she was like, we're just so alike. I really think we should be good friends. It's like, Fuck dude. So bad. Oh my God. Yeah. That would be fun. I think we could 110. percent Is there something? I think. Oh my god, that would be so fun. Oh challenging god. other houses. We'd have to get trained though. Let's like, let's like already like prepare for it and like get good trainers. Like, 
So then we're like so. extra, extra into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did y'all see um, the, what is it, Pekka? Is that how you say her name? And Malu, like they won a box. God. I'm not going to lie to you. I have Rose no idea who they are. Oh, really? Malu, like, um, hips. She's like, Malu, Malu, Malu. You've seen her. Okay. And Pekka, <laughs> and Pekka, like, she had all this drama with a bunch of TikTokers mm-hmm. and, like, ex boyfriends. Wait, we, we went with me. We went to her house before. We've been to her house. Yeah, you were with me. Oh, Malu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, our one picture that we have where we're like, on top of the world. That's <laughs> at her house. <laughs> yeah. But, um. Do you guys think, like, the girl one would be more or less successful than the last one? I think more. Everybody loves to so watch too. girls fight. Yeah. Especially if they actually get trained, it'll actually be a good, good. fight. Yeah. And even yeah. if not, it's like someone has to win. Like they wouldn't yeah. like, because you can't pull hair. You can't like do yeah. all that stuff. That like And it's like girls are like, you actually know. I feel like a lot of people, like when they watch girl, like do people even, not many people probably watch like girl fights. Like I'm sure it's popular, mm-hmm. but like, it's like social media. It's like all of the kids our age. It's like basically just watching Charlie on like TikTok. It's like yeah. everybody mm-hmm. knows who they would be. So it's like everybody, guys, girls, parents. Yeah. I do like think everyone would tap like in. The, the guys would be more known, but the girls, if it actually went through, it would create so much hype. Yeah. Because people would be like, holy shit. Like, especially like- The girls are fighting. Does TikTok, literally. How many um, followers does TikTok room have? And then TikTok insiders. Like two mil. Like so two like mil. That's two million people, two million people who- like want to hear about all those girls that are on the roster yeah like the quote-unquote roster and like, like hear their drama and like know exactly what right like when about. they hype them up like in the beginning they'll be like yeah. this person's against this person it's not like oh just like how bryce hall and austin were like fuck you dude it's like there's actual we know the drama, drama behind it like everybody yeah. knows the drama that's true actually. yeah yeah so it's like we know like what they're fighting for yeah you know yeah i and couldn't tell you and what, why, why they austin don't and bryce actually fought literally. other than they just didn't like each other yeah you know. Do you guys think that that was... Oh, wait. Well, first off, did you hear uh, TikTok room got taken down on Instagram? Really? Yeah, I think they're gone. Well, for temporary. I don't want to say anything because if I do, they're going to put me on there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but actually, I'll say my peace of mind. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Thank it's God. really toxic. It's so toxic. And it's like frustrating too because I follow this account, TikTok Insiders. Shout out to y'all. They're actually super sweet. They follow me back on Instagram and it's like the new TikTok room. But... Like every time that like they post like drama or updates, they don't call it drama, they call it updates because it is more of an update and yeah. they don't give their opinion on it while mm. TikTok room instigates. Oh TikTok my God, insiders yeah. just straight up tells you what's going on and lets you form your opinion. But if they do start saying things that have nothing to do with the drama that's going on or the situation that's going on and they start like, for example, instead of saying like, well, I think Nessa's right. And they said like, Matt is so ugly they would like turn off all the comments. Yeah. Damn. And, like not let people yeah. like shut them down like that because like it has nothing to do with the information. It's not like drama. Yeah. And so it's it's like it's healthy because it's like it's like watching the news. News. Yeah. Yeah. But the news is toxic, so wait. <laughs> the Discovery Channel. Discovery Channel. It's like watching the Discovery Channel. Yeah. You know? You know. Have you guys ever been on one of these drama pages? Out of curiosity. Uh, I have. I have. I, have. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. on TikTok room. Or um, whenever TikTok, like we all thought that TikTok was going away when all that was going down. And I was live. Yeah, because I was live. They took screenshots of all the people that were live or like most of them. And I was surprised that I was on it because it was like there were a lot of like bigger people on and stuff. But they screenshotted my username and like put it up there, which is cool. It was like a little shout out. And then um, doesn't mean I like TikTok room, though, because I I honestly really don't. Mm -hmm. But and then TikTok insiders. This is why I like TikTok insiders more, too, is because like. I was, I mean, I'm not not still popping now. I just don't post as much, but I was still popping whenever I got swatted. And do you know what you got swatted? swatted? Is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy yeah. shit. After going to a funeral. Yeah, after I went to a funeral. Yeah. Someone really just fucking hated me. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. Talk about salt in the wound. Holy Literally, shit. Yeah. So I got, I got, um, um, swatted and TikTok ins- I posted a video about it and I was just talking about how, like, cause I was so upset and, um, I was just talking about like how it happened and then how dangerous it is and how it's not funny. And like, there's a big difference between sending someone like a pizza to their house because you found their address and then sending a SWAT team to their house because you found their address. Yeah. Really big difference and really big line. Not saying the pizza thing is cool either. It's not, but like, um, 
yeah and tiktok insiders like just posted like a swipe like story of me just explaining it and like w- they were being really sweet they were like um hoping that like i was safe and stuff yeah but that's also like why i like tiktok insiders more is because like that happened and people were like tagging me in tiktok room and they're like why are you not posting and like spreading awareness about the fact that like people are like how crazy this is and that like getting swatted is a big deal and like um because even charlie d'amelio dm'd me and she because she saw it and she was and i'm i'm friends with her like I, we follow each other and stuff but she dm'd me and she was even talking about how um she's so sorry and that she's been through it before and like um so it was annoying because it's like it's a thing that happens to like tiktokers and youtubers yeah. and gamers and tiktok room didn't want to post that i, t- I don't think TikTok like room likes it ruins people. like your trust and like yeah. it it's almost like a traumatic event that like it'll give you PTSD like no matter mm-hmm. where you go like that's just always going to be in your head and it messes with your mind forever. I know. I checked underneath my car like Yeah. Like like it's not a prank. Yeah, like every single day I was so like scared. I would try to go to the gym the next night and I left like 20 minutes into being at the gym cuz I was looking around the whole entire time just like seeing if someone was watching me. I was so, I couldn't even go to sleep. Yeah. It was so bad. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, wild. I remember the videos, like, as you were posted. Oh, that was before we were super close. Yeah, told like, you. When is it December? Or January? January, maybe. I don't remember. I know it's still cold. I posted oh, a video asking what to wear to the funeral. I know. And everyone was, like, heating you up. They're like, yeah. how dare you wear a leather jacket to a funeral? She was, was like, girl, like, that's... I have no black clothes, bitch. Yeah. Did they find the person that swatted, that, like, called the swatting? Mm-mm. That's just crazy that they don't mm-hmm. have a way to track that. I know. A burner. <laughs> Holy a fuck. Burner, yeah. It was a burner phone. Like, yeah. they took it seriously in swatting me. Like, they got a burner phone. Like, they were not. But that's a federal crime. So, it's like, say they get caught. Like, they're in prison. They're for, in prison for a long time. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Like, not jail. Like, they're in prison. So, it's like. But that also shows how um, serious that is in terms oh, of. Oh, Yeah. Like, yeah. Because it costs so much money to even get a SWAT team to go somewhere. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that before. And like that's one thing and then on top of that it's like you're kind of setting someone up to possibly get killed mm-hmm. so like one wrong move and you can lose someone for mm-hmm. life. exactly or like you Bam. have no clue what they're talking about and they burst in your home saying that you killed someone and you look at them like what the fuck and then they like, like i'm just eating dinner yeah, like they take it aggressive though yeah. because like that's all they know they only know what they've heard on the phone mm-hmm. so. Holy shit. Yeah. I know. besties deal with that again yeah i know um, i think we should wood, i think we're good yeah we're really i mean good. we are uh, we're at 38 minutes um i would like to bring up one more thing because I, I i really like to get it because it's pride month like um i know like you guys are very supportive of that community yeah and, uh, there's lately been like a lot of stuff around did you guys hear about this Mm-mm. yeah so right. like um just a lot of people in general have been accused of first off yeah 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 so um a lot of people like billy eilish harry styles noah beck Danielle i heard Cohen. about the billy eilish thing the lost cause because i had to do a dance for that her lost cause video it's like she's at a sleepover with a bunch of girls mm-hmm. um and uh, i don't know how what i think about that in particular though Where i just know the like billy eilish video yeah i think they like people in this day and age i can't even like i call my dad daddy because that's what i've always called him since i was a kid and i yeah. it's sad that i get like i feel weird calling him yeah. daddy even though that's like all i like know what to call him i couldn't call him dad it'd feel weird slipping off my tongue um just because like this day and age makes people feel like they're sexualizing their dad yeah. when they call them yeah. daddy but it's, it's like, not but it's not it's like my older brother who's 23 still calls my dad daddy because it's like that's all we've we've known yeah. to call him so it's like yeah, it's just so that I feel the same in the terms of the like Lost Cause video of like they're all at a sleepover and yeah, they're wearing like a crop top and booty shorts, but literally that is like what you do at a girl's sleepover. Yeah. It's not sexual. Like we can sleep in a bed with another girl and not have sex. Not make, yeah, like we'll tell people like we share because we hadn't. We have an apartment together, and like it's we had another roommate, so she had the other room, and we had we shared a room, and like people are like, you guys sleep in the same bed, and we're like. Yeah, they're like, why don't you get other beds? And it's like, one, we don't care that much. Like, it's not weird like that. Like, yeah, they, people, like, make it out to be. Like, it's so weird. Mm-hmm. But it's 
It's just sharing it's the bed so with your best friend. Or even us getting ready together the other day. Yeah. Like, Reagan made a video, and she, like, I was, like, sitting on my phone. She came up to me, and she, like, grabbed my face, and she was, like, singing to me. And, like, everyone was, like, oh, you guys would be such a powerful couple. Yeah, and we're like, ship, we're, like, this is just my best friend. Like, we're just yeah. singing to each other and making it out to seem, like... Yeah, that, and it's not like, like not being vulnerable with someone, but being like comfortable with someone yeah. in the way of like, oh, or we were even eating food and like we were sharing a French fry because like I did that like with a friend and um, people are like, oh, you guys are queer baiting. And it's like, nah, we're not. We were literally just making a funny video with a yeah. French fry like lady in the tram. Yeah. We weren't and it's OK to be lovey with your friends. Yeah, yeah we were just goofing having off. that like sexual yeah. aspect of it like we were laughing it was not like romantic like that yeah exactly and then um but like i do think there is queer baiting in terms of like especially oh, yeah. like tiktok guys and yes like, pretend when like how i see it is like when you're pretending to be gay yeah you're queer baiting yeah but i do think that this day and age sexualizes a lot of things that especially like girls like se sexualizes like girls kissing and stuff like that and they call it queer baiting but really it's because this day and age sees that as like being dirty same thing with like the daddy thing like calling your dad daddy is like i shouldn't feel uncomfortable calling my dad daddy yeah no you definitely shouldn't you know mm -hmm. so i think there is a lot of queer baiting what was the question no it was just like more that's like, like a what do you think something about? kind of popping off right now yeah. is like yeah. everyone accusing everyone um, you Honestly, know. it's like the same thing. Like people just like hear a word and like they run with, with it. it, like musty, M <laughs> like, or like um, like gaslighting or like mm. all that stuff. Like they don't really or like grooming. They don't really know like the meaning behind that stuff. So yeah. like when we made that video, like with the father, like you're queer baiting. Like no, we're not. You're yeah. making it out to seem like we are and running with it. Like you don't even know what it is, and that's yeah. not what we were doing. Exactly, mm -hmm. and that's just another thing with social media and like us knowing what's going on. And then someone seeing a video and maybe not knowing us and then like saying that we're doing this, but it's like, no, it's just my best friend. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, we can do that with each other without making it weird. sexual. Yeah. Like, like that, like not yeah. even, not weird. Like, so, well, yeah, like sexualized. Be yeah. Because like, we are just best friends. Yeah. We yeah. are just best friends. So it's like queer beating or queer, be queer baiting is very serious, yeah. but the misuse of the word queer baiting is a problem also within because when system. people are actually queer baiting it's like it kind of discredits it discredits it's, it invalidates it because it's used so common they're like what are you talking about everybody everybody nowadays is saying it's queer baiting it's not actually queer yeah. baiting but like in that instance it really was yeah yeah exactly and it's kind of like creating stereotypes on people who are gay it's kind of like yeah i don't know like it's very like how do i describe this yeah it makes like, it, I, like if a guy paints his nails and then someone says a queer baiting, it's like, well, not every gay person paints their nails. So don't like put them in that stereotype of like, if you paint your nails, then you're gay. Like that just yeah. doesn't make sense. To me. Or it's like when like um, someone who is gay, who actually is kissing and get gay, like they're, they are actually kissing and it's real like between them. And then you, you take like best friends, for example, and they pretend to kiss like that's that's queer baiting and it ruins it for those people who actually do like each other that do want to kiss exactly. mm -hmm. because then they're like oh you're queer baiting but it's like no like we actually do like each other you just too many people mess it up for those people who actually want exactly. it exactly and like yeah yeah exactly like imagine being gay and like kissing someone that you like and then it getting called queer baiting but it's like you fucking like them yeah it's like, like it's real you know? yeah and mm -hmm. then someone else doing it they don't like each other there's no like yeah. they're just doing it like no they're doing it for views it like it ruins yeah like the people that think they know what it means like, and then run with it it ruins it for the people who are actually yeah, like truly like in love in and love. they actually want to do that so kind of flipping back to the guy thing because some of the people that were getting uh like and I don't want to say attack, but like we're getting flack for this was uh, Harry Styles and Noah Beck. So like obviously Harry Styles has been doing like a lot of photo shoots in like dresses and like yeah. feminine clothing. And same thing with Noah Beck. He started um, like taking pictures in uh, I think fishnets and with makeup on. Like a lot of people are just saying, oh, they're just doing it because like that's what people want to see. Um, like how do you? I don't know. You guys, 
Honestly, I don't know. Like, th- I feel like people have visions or, like, people, like, can wear what they want to wear or, like, photographers. Like, a lot of times photographers are going to be like, go wear this, and they put it on. It's not even their say. Like, they are they don't have a choice. Like, they have a stylist. Mm-hmm. So people attack these people, but it's not, like, Harry Styles, and it's not Noah Beck. Mm-hmm. It's they're being told to wear this for the photo shoot. Yeah, and I think even if not, I think one positive thing, because I've v- spoken pretty negatively, I feel like, about a lot of things in social media. But um, I think one positive thing too is that social media has created these like less standards for being yourself. And like you don't you don't have to, like you can be feminine without, yeah. like you, I don't know. It's like everyone has that like guys can cry. Yeah. You know, guys, guys can, can be skirts. feminine. Guys yeah, can wear crop tops. Being gay. And then girls can wear whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. <laughs> and guys can too. It's just kind of like social media has opened that realm of creative freedom in terms of like videos and then also in terms of just expressing who you are. Yeah. So whether that be videos, clothes, makeup, it's like you can do that without having a label placed on you. So I think the biggest like issue is the labels that people put on that it. people put in the assumptions because it's like also, who the fuck are you to assume that someone's gay because they yeah. want to wear what they want? But also, who the fuck are someone's you? Someone's sexuality assume, is none of your business. Yeah, to assume like, someone's not because they don't act the part. It's like, like it's assumptions that I think fuck yeah. up social media. And um, but I do think it's like really nice that social media has helped others gain confidence. Like who actually do want to wear like fishnets or do guys who do want to wear dresses? Like, because I don't like, think it's weird at all. I like. Mm, it. I think it's inspiring because it's yeah. like you know what like. I'm wearing it. Why? Don't be afraid to wear it either. Yeah, so exactly. that's yeah. really nice to see. Exactly. Imagine that kid, that guy that like looks up to Harry Styles or Noah Beck sees that and that kind of just empowers them. Like, oh, this yeah. guy's yeah. They wanted it. to do so it for nice so long, had no confidence or not, not confidence, but had no, um, just didn't feel comfortable doing it because they hadn't done it before. And then they see someone that yeah. they love do it and they're like, oh, fuck, I'm doing it today. Yeah. You know? Like, I think the same thing about, like, whenever we create videos, it's, like, people, like, especially, like, me cleaning, like, because I make a lot of, like, cleaning videos mm-hmm. too, like, time lapses of me cleaning, because the only way that I can, like, fully clean in, like, one sit down is if I film myself on a mm-hmm. time lapse, and oh. then you get to watch the time lapse after, and it's, like, so you satisfying. see the book, yeah, it's so satisfying, it's so nice, and then you post it, and then people are, like, this just made me want to clean my room, yeah. like, it's been messy for, like, months, and, like, I'm finally cleaning it, and, like, it's like stuff like that like it translates to the same thing of inspiring and like saying like if i can do it you can do it too yeah exactly because we are normal people at the end of the day and it's like harry styles like for example does hold this position in a lot of people's heads but he is at the end of the day a normal person and a normal human being that just wanted to try something new yeah you know and then like helped others want to try it too yeah so they're honestly it's like good for them because they're breaking that stereotype it like guys can only wear this and girls can only wear that so i hate stereotypes that's yeah sure. love it well, we've been going for quite a while yeah. would you guys like to wrap up the podcast yeah yes. um this was the besties podcast brought to you by death, death wish, wish coffee. coffee and we got some death wish cups like <laughs> k-cups mm, for your so Keurig. good so good look watch this guys <laughs> that you can use or you can buy from deathwish.com so Feel free to get your Death Wish coffee. It's lit. Yep, yep. Um, I'm Isabel. I'm Reagan. And you'll nope, see us say soon. It. <laughs> I was say like, it. Ah, I'm Ben. Um, Sorry, Ben. <laughs> no, you're good. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just here to guide this. So, And you're going to see us soon. Follow us on the <laughs> gram. Isabel Wallace. Reagan777 on everything. My spam account single grandmom, though. Hers is crazy girl. It's a bit crazy girl. It's a bit. Um... Love you guys. You're our world. We hope you can like this. We hope you can like we hope, <laughs> we, No, no. We hope you like seeing this side of us. Yeah. Let, yeah. Hearing. Hearing our it? opinions. Let us know what you agree and disagree on in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. This was the Bestie Podcast. Now the Besties are out. Wait, we got to do the. Besties out. Wiki, wiki. Mic drop. Mic, Mic drop. drop. Ready? Three. Two. <laughs> <laughs>